my name is Ella and this is my nephew Jonica. Hi. And my niece Cleana. Hi. And Jonica, how old are you? I'm nine. And Cleana, how old are you? Eight. And what school do you go to? I go to both Brooklyn and Toronto. Same. And today we're going to be doing some paper crafts for family time at the Limerick Libraries. So today we're going to be doing, we're going to be making this giant star that you can hang from the ceiling or you can put on top of your Christmas tree and we're going to make it together. So for this craft we're going to need some white card, so this is like an A3 size card, so it's a nice big sheet and it's a little bit heavier than paper but not too heavy. We're going to need a ruler, I've got this clear plastic one but any kind of ruler that you have in your school bag works as well, a pencil, a pair of scissors. We have some of these sticky star labels that we're going to put it on to decorate. Uh, we have some double-sided tape. This is what I'm going to use. I've got this nice thin double-sided tape, but you could also just use some glue or like a glue stick or some PVA glue that you put on with a paintbrush. It does need to be quite thin. Um, so uh, this is why I'm using this very, very thin double-sided tape, but you could also cut some down as well. And to hang it at the end, we have some ribbon and a big darning needle that we're going to use to hang it. Okay, are you guys ready? Yeah. Let's go. Uh, so we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our sheets of paper. I'm gonna push this out of the way. <clears throat> and taking this top corner, we're going to fold it over so we make a square. And then we're just going to fold along that line and with our fingers to make a nice sharp fold line, okay? So we should have a triangle on the bottom and this rectangle on the top. Good job. Nice, nice sharp fold line. Excellent job. And if you don't get it right the first time, you can go back and do it again because it's only paper. So we're just gonna line this up a little bit with Nisha and make a new fold line just along there. Great, and then this little rectangle that we have here, we're going to fold backwards, just along the same line as that front side. And then fold it again, just run our fingernails along it to make a nice sharp line. Good job. Good job, and we're gonna make, like, just make this really nice and sharp by running your finger along it a couple of times. And then we have to get rid of that rectangle. So we're going to use our scissors and we're just going to, you might need to get an adult to help you with this. So whoever is in your household with you, just gonna run it in there and run it along. So it kind of tears off that rectangle bit. And then we can put that off to the side. You don't need that. You wanna do that? You wanna have? Yep. No, okay. So definitely if you're holding scissors, handing scissors, have an adult around to help you. Don't think left-handed, so this might be a little bit tricky. No, we're not gonna saw it. I'm just gonna pull it. There we go. So the next thing I'm gonna do, now that we have this square, we're going to hold it like this, like a kite or a diamond shape. And we're going to take this side and fold it into the middle. And again, we're just gonna give it our little runner finger along there to make a nice sharp fold line. And when we've one side done, we're gonna do the other side again. Just fold it, fold that one back so we can fold in the next side to the middle. And make a nice sharp fold line just there.
and they should overlap just slightly here at the bottom. So that's where our glue or our sellotape or our double-sided sticky tape comes in handy. So I'm going to use this double-sided sticky tape. So I'm just going to tear off a piece that's long enough and put it on one side. And then I'm just going to stick this other side down on top of it. Now if you're using glue, you just want to give it enough time so for it to stick because we need it to be really stuck for the next part. Good job. And then we should have something that looks like this. So when, we, when it's dry, when it's ready, you can fold it out again. And again, we just want to go along that crease and make sure that it's nice and sharp. So we've got four sharp points, okay? And like I said, it's only folding, so if something goes wrong, you can always go back and do it again. I'll put it in the right place. There we go. And all nice and stuck. So we're just gonna fold this over. Make sure that this crease is nice and strong. Okay, so now we have a cone that looks like that. So the next thing we're going to do is we have to cut off this triangly bit at the bottom. So I just cut off that little piece and again we don't need it so we can set it to the side. Do you want to do that one? We're going to do that five times because for our star it's got five points so we need five of those cones. For this next section we need to take a little wedge out of the bottom of our cones so that when we put them together that they nest really neatly. So I'm just using my ruler and I'm measuring up to the centre of one of those cones on one of those fold lines about one and a half inches um, or four centimetres, my ruler just happens to be in inches. So about four centimetres from the bottom of your, your cone to up and you mark that and then you want to draw a line from there out to either point. Uh, so that's it. So when you look at it, it won't be a straight line. It'll be it'll be sort of a funny little wedge triangle shape that you're taking out, and you want to cut that out then with the scissors. And then we just want to take off the little corners of each of our stars. Again, this is just about creating the tabs that will help our, our cone shapes to make, to nest nicely when we want to make our star. So we just take off those corners and then again, measuring sort of from the edge of where you took them off about, I would say two centimeters maybe, you just want to draw a line from that edge up into the center. And you see then that what we have are two little tab shapes that start to emerge. And once again, this is something we want to do on all five of our cones. We need to do all five of our pieces for our star. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Now that we've drawn our line from edge to edge and we have this little tab shape, we just need to take a little uh, wedge out of the middle section so that we can have tabs that fold really neatly. So we're just gonna cut a little triangle right from the center point of that um, star shape. So right there, we're just going to take out a little notch. So taking out that little notch, we cut one side and then we cut the other just with um, our nice sharp scissors. And then you can see we have two little tabs that we can fold back. So 
picking one side or the other, and I like to pick the side that our seam is on that we joined with our sticky tape. Um, fold back along that line so that they you have your nice neat star points again on the bottom on both sides and then on the back side of that you actually want to cut off so one side you fold back and on the other side you cut off those tabs um, and that's what's going to help us to join our cones together to create our star so we need a set of tabs on one side and nothing on the other so we trim off those tabs on one but we fold them back on the other and once again we're going to do that to all five of our cones until they all match each other and we just take away those the extra parts then Four. Put the wedge in for you. take these little tabs and we're going to go one at a time to connect all five points of our stars together. So I'm going to put a little bit of double sided tape and break some off along this tab here. Along the next tab here. Oops, stick into my fingers. One side has tabs and one side doesn't have any tabs. So we're going to take the one that doesn't have any tabs and just line it up next to the one that we just put the sticky tape on the tabs for. And then we just fold it 
over the edge and connect our two points together using our double sided sticky tape. So that when we unfold them, they look like that. So we want to do all two, three, four, five. here. So for that we use our ribbon and our needle. We're going to take a little piece of ribbon, one for either side, this side, this side. And I'm using this extra big bobble needle. Those are really nice and big. So we put thread our ribbon through the needle. I'm going to tie a little knot in the end. One, two, and then taking the pointy end of our needle, we're just going to pull it up an inch here, and push it through both layers of paper, and not pull it out. So then we have one thread there. And the same on the other side. Unfold our star and tie these two pieces of ribbon together. And that finishes our star and it gives us something to hang it up with if we want to hang it. Sheet. 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 